question number one. Let's rationalize this denominator. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. And how can we rationalize this denominator? Well, we have the square root of 2. If we multiply it by the square root of 2, we're going to get rid of the radical. So root, do, root 2 down at the bottom, root 2 up top as well. Because we want to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. Otherwise, we would be changing the fraction, and that would be just not allowed. So 1 times the square root of 2 is just the square root of 2. And down below, we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 4. Marvelous. OK, so we end up with the square root of 2 all over. The square root of 4 is just 2. And that is our answer. The numerator has been rationalized. Fantastic. OK, how about 3 over the square root of 5? How can we rationalize the denominator? Well, well, well. We're just going to multiply it the square root of 5 by the square root of 5. But of course, we need to put the square root of 5 in the numerator as well. Remember, of course, that we're just essentially multiplying it by 1 because the root of 5 over the root of 5 is just 1. You multiply something by 1, you don't change anything. So we're just rewriting this fraction. 3 times the square root of 5 is just 3 root 5. And down below we have the root of 5 times the square root of 5, which is the square root of 25. So we have 3 root 5 over the square root of 25 is just 5, and that's it. That is it. Fully rationalized. The denominator has been fully rationalized, and we have 3 square root of 5 over 5, which is equivalent to 3 over square root of 5. That's it.